Hey guys, welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie and welcome back to the garden where guys, the sun is almost down and I have got the garden cultivated, but I went back over the spot where I had the potatoes and I took and dug them up. I dug them up because the soil had been so wet. It got saturated with that storm. It created the soil to be the garden spot to be hard. It was hard to even get the to get it tilled, tilled up. So in the, one of the videos, I turned around and made a video that about, you know, uh, tilling up your garden with a tiller. But my secret was, is that I rock my tiller back and forth. And so if you live in the Rocky Mountains, or should I say the mountains, if you live in the mountains where there's clay soil or your soil is really hard and got rocks in it, the, one of the best things to do is take that tiller and rock it back and forth. What happens is it puts a little valley there and grabs a hold of that dirt and that those blades kind of kick it out and it creates it to cultivate a lot better. Because with a tiller, what happens is if it's too hard, all it does is just walk across the ground. Well, that's not doing the job, right? So that's my little secret. And I turned around and dug these potatoes up, turned around and took my hoe because the ground is really good. Took my hoe and made my row and uh, went on the other side, made, dug some more dirt up and made my valley. Let me show you this. So, as you can see, my potatoes are laying on the ground now. And I kind of put the eyes a little bit up. Now my soil looks a lot better. It's tilled up before it was really, really rocky, worse than that right there. Now it's like that, and I'm very happy with it. As you can tell, it's, it's still moist. That's, uh, it's, still, it's still damp, but it's not saturated wet or anything like that, but it is moist. And so what I did after I tilled it up and I took that hoe and raked some dirt up to make my little mound, because I have a tendency when I do it other people's way, it doesn't seem to work out best and so in your region into your culture into your place of where you live at then you have to kind of figure out i got to get over here with the camera that you got to figure out um what works best into your area me i've always made mounds if you want to say it like that raise my my bed up a little bit raise my row up a little bit and planted my potatoes that's always worked best to me for me that way when the ground kind of gets compacted down, you still got your rows, you still push more dirt up on, onto the plants as they're growing. So with my hoe, all I did was take, and uh, after I dug up and made on both sides, I'm going on one side and then go on the other side and rake it up. What I did is I just took and used the end of this hoe and made my little furrow, my little valley. And just walk down it took actually no time guys for this to take place now i'm ready to get these potatoes in i love how this soil looks i'm very pleased with it um maybe i went over maybe two more times but you know what it's we're probably going to get some more rain and it's going to you know as time goes on with the garden the soil always kind of gets compact down and i'll just you know take my little hoe and cultivate around it a little bit all right guys just want to give you a little uh a trick a quick trick tri ah a quick tip that you can take your tiller rock it back and forth and then if you're having a problem with potatoes maybe they rot in the ground take and dig you a little row dig your row up and then take your hoe and put a little valley set your potatoes in there then take the dirt and just cover it up this time i'm not planting this deep we're at the end of, just about the end of the season. We're getting near that end where we can plant potatoes because of the weather we've had here onto the East Coast. So I really want to get these into the ground. And I'm so excited now that I finally was able, you know, to get this soil to where I'm starting to be happy with it. Because my, my garden literally got destroyed by that storm that came through across um, the United States of America, across America. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember to make it a great day. All right, guys, take care.